Hi, I'm Max Cobb, and today I'm going to be unboxing two dolls. This is one. This is the other. This is the other. They're fresh dolls. I'm going to be unboxing them. I already did a video where I unboxed them. Um, side note, I am in a different place. Usually I try to film with my dolls behind me. Um, <laughs> it's currently storming out. Honestly, you can't hear right now, so that's a good thing, but my dog does not like storms. I don't like storms, so I'm upstairs, and yeah, that's fine. I don't want to leave her alone. I know she doesn't like storms. So anyways, I'm going to be, what is that? There is like a little fuzz in there. Do you see that? It was moving. There we go. It's slightly moving now. <laughs> that is fun. Anyways, <laughs> whatever. Um, <laughs> so I have two fresh dolls. I got them at Ollie's for four, nope, three ninety nine, dollars which is a really good price. I unboxed the last two that I had, so you can take a look at that video if you're interested in looking at watching me unbox them. I also grabbed my one that I had before because I referenced a few things, like their heads felt a little wobbly. Honestly, hers is also wobbly, but not as bad as theirs. Um, like, I move her around, I can't feel it, but it definitely feels slightly loose, but it's not like moving. Oh, there it is moving. Um, but anyways, so this is mine. Her name is Skylar, I believe. See, every time I do a video, I feel really bad because I'm like, I don't know their names. And it's, I'm like, it's because I, I don't want to like want them um because then i'm like obsessed with them and so like when i get them i learn their names so this is skylar pretty sure um so let's unbox the two that i have and if i need to reference anything from my previous one i feel like in the last one i kept referencing things and i felt bad because like i didn't grab her so she's here just in case i reference anything maybe because her pants kind of look the same as this one but let's unbox so Let's take a look at the box. So it tells a little bit of information about the company. And I actually really like these dolls. I, when they came out, I was really interested. There's a few of the boys that I really want to get. Um, they also have the collector ones that those are the boys that I want. So it says the Fresh Dolls. Um, they're created. The founder is Dr. Lisa. Is that her name? Lisa Liza. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's Lisa. Um, to be fresh is to embrace your looks and wear it with confidence. Uh, it is my heart's desire that fresh dolls represent true multicultural beauty and self-love in children. An extension of positively perfect dolls. Fresh dolls have trendy fashions and hairstyles, custom skin tones, and beautiful faces. With movable joints and more realistic bodies, well, target towards Barbie, <laughs> fresh girls and guys can do anything. And I believe that's the same things on the back. And then you can see some of the dolls. So this is one that... I have, I have her, I haven't unboxed her yet, but I do have her. I have this one and that one, and I think that's it. Um, I'm just missing this girl, and then I'm missing the guys. I think the guys are really cool. I just never find them anywhere. I think maybe I found one one place, um, and then I never saw them again. So I do, there's a new, new line of dolls is it the fresh line i feel like okay so they created the little the girls with the big heads those dolls um and then right they have a separate line am i correct it's, it's been a while since i've looked i feel i can't think of what it's called but i really want those two dolls in it and i have seen those ones i just haven't gotten them yet it's every time when i'm like i'm not buying dolls today we have other stuff we need and then i see them and i'm like <laughs> You do it on purpose. So anyways, they're pretty easy to unbox. I say that and then I'm struggling. I'm just trying to take the plastic out that's in the box. So came out pretty nicely. And then all you have to do is cut a few of the little things. They got one around their waist. They have one around their legs. I forgot to tell you what this doll's name is. I'm sorry. And then she has nothing around her head. And I don't remember if that is for all of them, but she does have a little piece holding her hair down. Um, and then I'm gonna say something about this doll in a second. She's so pretty. Wow. Okay, give me a second. Uh, oh, also you have to cut her shoes out because she's not currently wearing them. Um, I really like these. $3.99 is not a bad price at all. And I have already started displaying the other two dolls that I have. So her name is, what is your name? Her name is Lexi. Oh, hello, Lexi. Okay, so here's the doll out of the packaging. I could be wrong, but I did find a nude fresh doll somewhere, and I think it actually might be this doll. She's obviously wearing an outfit that I gave to her, but I feel like it's this doll because of the length of the hair, but she's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not having that issue with her head being 
extra wobbly like I did with the other one so maybe it just was a fluke um or maybe it's an issue I was just concerned because their heads were so like they made a clicking noise when I um shook them if you haven't seen that video you can watch it so I was wondering if um like they made um more like cheaper dolls or if they changed their whatnot I don't know so that's why I grabbed her but she's so pretty okay so this is Lexi and she has um short hair almost like curly it is a little bit of like curl and dimension it's a little bit longer in some areas okay I think it's okay I gotta get a better look I think her hair is brown but for whatever reason it's giving purple vibes I know the other one has purple hair but I think I think her hair is brown but it's giving purple let me know so she has brown eyes she has gold studded earrings and mine has silver so there's some difference there she looks absolutely gorgeous she has a like light pink lip but it's a pretty like I'm gonna call it like a neon lip color and she does have some really pretty like subtle eye makeup like I love how she looks here I love their faces again I like that these dolls are like more realistic body types obviously they have slightly larger heads than Miss Barbara but I still think that you can get away with using them as like you know a play doll like yourself um if you want a more realistic doll I don't know how people who you know I don't have an issue with that so I don't know how people who only want Barbies feel about these dolls like more realistic looking dolls but she's absolutely gorgeous I love her face again it's shorter she's got different lengths of hair so keep that in mind her hair does feel a bit dry like this one really nice and soft hair like I love to play with this doll's hair this one feels a bit dry compared to that um I don't know what kind of texture it is or anything but super pretty I love her and I'm not seeing like any um it doesn't look like it's printed on because I'm not seeing the pixelation but here is her outfit so she's wearing a pink top which is like has like a big hole here for you know the shoulder off the shoulder look it's light pink and it has some glitter and sparkle in it I haven't noticed any glitter coming off yet but keep that in mind she does have um like little I don't know how what to call this but like edges I think they're really cute and it does velcro in the back super nice and then she's wearing these jean shorts and I am pretty sure that it is the same shorts as the one that I have so keep that in mind. They do slightly reuse um, their outfits, but I'm okay with that. I don't mind. So I think they're the same shorts, but she's wearing some really cute jean shorts. They're like upper thigh length. And then she has on gold heels. I absolutely love when they do like a casual look and they're like heels because mine has a very casual look and it's wearing like sneakers. So I'm, I'm glad that they did that. I think that looks really cute here. And then her articulation is movement at the head, the arm, the elbow they do not have wrist articulation she has movement at the hip and the leg and then again they have like good articulation she can sit nicely um I've been doing a little bit of photography with some of them and I just she's so pretty I love these dolls I think they look really nice obviously I do I am sad that they lack a little bit of wrist articulation um but whatever anyways the head cannot till it just moves side to side um, and then let's get this one out of the box as well, because I forgot to. I was going to get both of them out. What is her name? Lynette, maybe? Is that how you say her name? Lynette? Oh, can you even see it? There we go. I'm Lynette. I hope that's how they're saying her name, but I'm nervous that it's not. Um, here she is, Miss Lynette. Oh, perfy just slid right out. And again, no um, thing attached into the back of their head, which I'm grateful for because I don't personally like that because I always I'm scared I'm gonna cut the hair and in the past I have here's Lynette and again she also has high heels that are not on her so you gotta put them on that's fine they just nicely slip on and again that's so cute this one I'm so excited to take a look this one I loved her look so much okay she also doesn't have that oh and her head moves a lot smoother she does not have that clicking okay I don't know what's up with the other two dolls that I had but oh she is beautiful literally love her okay I am so excited because I really really wanted her she's so pretty I can't wait because I just oops she's got a little string oh, I'm gonna have to cut that um but I just added so many I had one doll with their outfit and then one doll that I thrifted I did get some outfits too and I have shown those in another video some fresh doll outfits that I paid 
like a dollar for um, or something like that. And so I only had two and I've just added, I've unboxed four now. This will be the fourth one and then I have another one waiting. So I'm adding to my fresh doll collection and I love it. I actually think the doll that I self to unbox is a version of her same outfit and same look. She just has a white top. Anyways, Lynette. I'm going to call her Lynette because that's what I think her name is. She has like really pretty like brown, almost orangey eyes. She has pink makeup and purple lips. I absolutely love when a doll line does, you know, different colored lips because like everyone always gets pink or purple or no pink or <laughs> oh my god, pink or nude. Why do you say purple? Um, or red, I guess. Um, so I'm glad that they did like fun colors. I would love to see like purple and blue and all of that. Like green, oh, that looks so fun. But I love the purple lips on her. Um, and then she has silver earrings. They're probably the same as this one, silver earrings as well. They're just studs. She has her hair pulled up into a ponytail and she's got some nice curls. There is a bit of box hair. Nope, there's a, a rubber band holding it so that all of the hair is to the front. Do you see that? Um, but it's super curly. You can definitely see it here. I love how it looks. It's so on her and again it's a very vibrant color um oh it's so pretty definitely different from her lips I think the color on her lips is a little bit darker she also has a purple crop top with I'm gonna call this a turtleneck but I, I don't know if it actually is it's a bit a little bit like big around her versus like being tight so I feel like turtlenecks are supposed to be tight but that's okay um and her shirt has a lot of different purple in it so like dark purple light purple really pretty love it it's a long sleeve crop top I think these are like my favorite long sleeve crop tops I just think they look so good I'm wearing a short sleeve crop top right now but anyways super pretty and then she has white pants they go all the way down they're not capris that's perfect I love that I love when they give like realistic looking um like outfits like you could genuinely wear this like I say realistic like people who wear skirts and stuff but I don't know why I said realistic, but <laughs> something that I would wear casual. There we go. Oh my God. Why can I not speak today? Um, again, the shirt and the pants velcro on the back. The thing that I was talking about is she's got a little string here. So I'm just going to cut it because I, in the past, have, you know, pulled it and then you rip it open. It's just on her armpit. It's fine. All gone. Beautiful. And then she also has white high heels. And I think that's so fun that they did. I have a hair hanging. Um that they did white high heels with such a casual outfit I think she looks so good again she has that same articulation move at the head arm and elbow and then leg and wrist and none of the like what she's wearing restricts her movement I've had in the past where a doll wears pants that are really tight and they can't do this or wears a skirt and they can't bend their legs so that's super nice that she can fully move and her clothes are made for her super pretty also did I say that she has like pinkish actually I feel like she has purple eye makeup um but here are the two dolls that I got today here's what they look like kind of all the way back um they look absolutely gorgeous we'll do a bit of a close-up to what she's what she's wearing what she looks like super pretty and then here is this one and then I'll show them next to the one that I have as well pretty love them sorry I have to grab my doll so here's what they look like just like so you can get an idea of the variety that they come in you know you've got more natural hair colors and you've got some fun hair colors fancy hair colors is what people call them they, they look absolutely gorgeous I love them so much and I'm super excited that I was able to get these fresh shawls and I definitely hope to get more of them in the future in my collection because I just think they look so cute and I love them on display. I've been displaying her with some of my other dolls because I don't, you know, I didn't have any others so now I'm excited that I have a big enough to display to give them their like own area and see what they pair nicely with. But anyways, I'm Active. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or want to see them more in depth, I would be happy to show you. But yeah, I'm Active. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!